years uh, up in the uh, uh, Akwesasne Reservation playing lacrosse and kind of learned a different thing about the game. And um, I've heard him speak to kids and I've heard him speak to, to people about the game of lacrosse. And one of the things he always says is, uh, keep a stick in your hand because you'll never know where it's going to take you. And 40 years ago, I put a stick in my hand, never knowing where it was going to take me. And in that 40 years, it took me to college. It took me to men's leagues where I met guys like Tim Pease and Brian Kopp and Jim Paris. And Tim Pease was a mentor to me. When uh, he was running youth leagues in Irondequoit and going to tournaments and teaching me how to get older kids on the roster and stuff like that that they do in Irondequoit. <laughs> Tim perfected that, and it, and it, and it really, it, it kind of set, it kind of set me on a course of, hey, you know what, we can go to tournaments, we can go outside of Fairport, we can play outside the youth league, and really, honestly, Tim showed me the way. The first tournament I ever went to, I went with Tim, and we won't talk about why we almost didn't play the next day, but we did lose the keys to the van with all the equipment in it, and we won't talk about anything beyond that. Um, it, it took me to. to intense sports where you know a, a couple of guys had an idea like maybe we'll have an indoor facility where we can play lacrosse and you know I remember many nights there you know having philosophical conversations with Al Kirstein while we're vacuuming the turf getting ready for the league the next day. Intense sports introduced me to a lot of the high school programs in town a lot of the kids we'd ref 10 games a week you know we would keep score we'd vacuum the turf we would do all the things that would be done and we had some great times in intense sports. Um, Met a lot of teams, got to fight Harry and his brother in intense sports. <laughs> and it was, uh, I learned one thing, if you, if you wrestle one Penny Yang guy, there's another one coming. <laughs> That's kind of how that works. Um, it led me to officiating, um, where I had some downtime. And, you know, these officials, I can't say enough. These guys really do dedicate their time. They're a great group of guys. I know when they're on the field officiating, you don't like them. But if you ever go to one of their meetings, they're a blast. Those guys are good guys. <laughs> Um, and it led me to, to youth coaching, um, and, and Steve DeJoe and Doug Hindy and myself um, coached a great group of young men, and, and I've heard from a lot of them, and uh, you do get emotional, and as I look back, there's parents of the kids I've coached, there's kids that I've coached, and uh, they were a great group of kids, um, you know, guys with nicknames like Big Red and Tibbs and Dee Dee and, you know, and Utsi, and you go through the whole thing, they're great families. And um, they were great kids, and it's so much fun to watch them become great men. Uh, one of the guys here from my original team, Sturz, is back there. And I'm going to tell a horribly embarrassing story about you, Sturz, and you know what it is. We were going, uh, I think it was with U.S. Lacrosse. We were taking a, a U13 team down to, um, I think it was UMass. And um, Sturz comes up to me and goes, hey, coach, i got a card for you. You know the story, don't you? And it was Father's Day weekend. And I open the card and it says, I'm so glad we get to spend this weekend together. Love you, Sturs. And I'm like, uh, Sturs, man, I, you know, I'm going to get you some playing time. <laughs> he goes, oh my God, that was for his dad. He gave me the wrong card. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it, led, it led me to youth tournaments. This stick did where, where I got to coach kids and, and we got to bond on the field and our, our kids were successful and they played the game the right way and we bonded off the field. The parents and I, we, we always had a good time and um, it was always special to me. It was never work. I always enjoyed it. Loved coaching the kids. Kept me young. We had a lot of success and uh, that was great. Um, it also led me to men's tournaments. You know, we played, uh, we played in, uh, in Lake Placid. We played Baltimore. Uh, we played in Vail. And when I played in Vail, that led me to my teammate, Kevin Riley, who has led me to places I can't really talk about. So it's like, <laughs> we won't. <laughs> we won't. We won't. But it's also, you know, I talk about guys from my team over there. You know, I, I just look around and, you know, Steve DeJoe, we coach youth together. We used to strategize. Derek and Blaze were best friends from the time they were four years old. The two of them got each other through so much. Uh, going through high school, they stayed away from the trouble because they always had somebody they could count on. And Steve was like that for me. I always had somebody I could count on. 
You know, we'd go to tournaments, we'd stay together, we'd coach the kids, and um, it was a passion. And, uh, you know, Doug Hindy came into the picture, and uh, he's, he's a little better dressed than Steve and I, but um, he, he brought passion to the game. He loved working with the kids, didn't have a kid in the program. Um, you know, and you look around the table, Steve Maddock, we've been playing together since high school. Uh, Jimmy Paris, I mean, he's never seen a shot he didn't like. Um, Brian Kopp, one of, one of the toughest and strongest guys I've ever had the honor to play with. Chris Beckles over there. So, you know, I'm looking at these tables, there's teammates, there's parents of kids I coach, there's parents of kids I coach and kids. You know, here's my family up front. And my lacrosse stick brought all that to me. Because, you know, I have a connection to everybody in this room, and it's from this. And if I didn't have this, I wouldn't have this connection. It, it led me to the youth tournament. You talk about Mike Mirajois, and you, and you talk about Chris Modesti, and you talk about Dan Wetzel. Those were guys that worked on the youth board. And um, they made sure that we had everything we needed, and they always made it fun. And they never really, you know, they, they never pushed us uh, away. And then I, I came to coach club lacrosse um, with Tim Sudan in the, in the Blaze Lacrosse program. And uh, I get to coach with, you know, Tim Sudan's a Hall of Famer, Bill Mahar's a Hall of Famer, Tom Emick's a Hall of Famer, Jacques Monti's a Hall of Famer, and, uh, and then there's me. And uh, I'm really honored to coach with those guys. I, I learn a lot from them, and uh, I enjoy our conversations and our trips together, and, you know, it's, it's always interesting. Um, but that was brought to us by lacrosse. Um, it brought me to 20 years of playing in the Lake Placid tournament, where eight years ago, after winning a championship, I'll step into the mic on that one, um, I, I got married. My wife decided after I proposed to her, I'm like, where do you want to get married? She's like, Lake Placid, that's where all your friends are going to be. And you know, I realized those friends are brought to me by this stick. And um, I was lucky enough to marry someone who's so supportive. And it's hard to be a, a coach's and a player's wife. Um, it does come home with you. And you're gone a lot. And um, I really appreciate that support and, and love you, dear. Um, it's brought me closer to my kids. And if, there, if there's one thing in my life that matters, it's my son's Blaze and Connor. And it's, it's gone from this stick being in the, in the front yard playing catch to playing in the old man league together, to Connor and I outscoring Blaze at the Blue Cross Arena. I'll never forget that. <laughs> but it's also the countless hours that we drove in the car and we had windshield time together and I had their undivided attention. And I got to talk to them about, you know, what life meant, and I got to listen to them and see what was going on in their lives. It's a connection. This stick brought me with my children they will never be broken. And I can't thank this sport enough for that. Um, you know, I want to thank, this stick brought me to Fairport coaching staff. And I look at the table, there's, you know, Coach Sudan, Coach McGurk, Coach Sand and Coach Kyle. And, you know, Coach Torelli gave me a huge opportunity. I was a youth coach. I coached those guys from kindergarten up until sixth grade. And then you let them go. They go on to modify, they go on to JV. And my son's senior year, Coach Torelli came to me and said, listen, I, you know, I need a volunteer assistant on the varsity staff. I said, well, Coach, I gotta ask my son. He goes, I already asked him, he said do it. And, <laughs> We went 19 and 0 that season. I got to spend time basically watching the brownies finish baking. You know, when they were little kids, you put them in the oven and you teach them things, and it was their senior year, and I got to see the outcome of that. And that was so special to me. So that's something else this stick has given me. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm just gonna say, you know, this stick also brought me here tonight. And I do have a connection with everybody in this room, and it's through this stick. And I'm so glad that 40 years ago I picked this stick up and haven't set it down. It's brought me to my best friends. It's brought me to my teammates. It's brought me to people that have, they inspire me. They motivate me. They are the toughest people with the best character. And I thank uh, Lacrosse every day for those opportunities. Thank you.